Astronomy means many difficult notions and we must know the understanding level of a child and to make space for real empathy and creative solutions. To achieve this, we must use proper approaches, intuitive models and experiments. I present here one of my projects with an interesting and actual topic, understanding space travel. At the beginning, we can use uh, different videos, pictures, articles of space missions. Why? Uh, to get uh, the students acquainted with scientific terms and principles. For example, here you see the trajectory of uh, Huygens Cassini mission, and uh, you can also uh, see that in this mission uh, there are many new uh, notions for the students, like orbital maneuver, flyby, Hoffman trajectories. And also, uh, we have to understand why uh, an orbit, space orbit, is always an ellipse. Then the students uh, learn about the trajectory of the rocket, that this trajectory is curved because the velocity of the rocket has two components one vertical and one horizontal. The horizontal one is the rotational velocity of the Earth around its axis. The true trajectory is not a parabola, but a part of an ellipse with the Earth in a foci. Uh, to put in evidence these kind of trajectories, we can make different experiments uh, like oblique throw of a ball or to build a paper rocket. What is an orbit? The students understand that an orbit is a regular repeating pass, then, what, then one object in space takes around another one. The orbit is a balance between the force of gravity and the object's strength to move in a straight line. A circular orbit appears when the balance is exact, but usually uh, the orbit is elliptical because the object's distance from its parent oscillates. This experiment is very simple to draw an ellipse. The students need a piece of chalk, a string, they can work in groups and they can observe very simple that the eccentricity uh, is different because they choose it. An orbital maneuver or a burn or a thrust is the use of propulsion systems to change the orbit of a spacecraft. On a circular orbit, the velocity depends on, a, on the radius, as you see in this formula. A spacecraft in these conditions has different velocities on different orbits. The yellow part of this draw represents a Hoffman transfer orbit. This uh, transfer orbit is a uh, half from an ellipse and the spacecraft has to change its velocity at the beginning of, the, of this transfer orbit and also at the end. A gravitational slingshot, a gravity assist maneuver or a flyby is the use of the relative movement and the gravity of an astronomical body to change the trajectory and in the same time the velocity of a spacecraft. As you see here in this draw, a ball changes 
his uh, direction, its direction, and also uh, its velocity after the collision with a big mass, in this case a big frame, with a big velocity. We can make also a very interesting experiment with two balls, a tennis ball and a basketball, in a uh, we can let them in a free uh, fall and after the, collis the collision with the floor we can observe that the tennis ball uh, which is on the upper uh, place uh, will gain a very big uh, energy from the basketball after uh, uh, the change also between the moments. In this project, we developed a software that modeled interplanetary uh, travels using the Hoffman trajectory. Through it, we could analyze orbital maneuver velocities and travel times between planets. The architecture of the software was designed in class but the software itself was developed with the help of a local software programmer. In conclusion, we can arrive to explain the new concepts using simple experiments, intuitive examples, cheap materials. Why we have to do this? The students are eager to do hands-on activities. They can work together. They enjoy a lot uh, these kind of activities. And the students can create a software or use a ready-made one only after they understand very well the necessary concepts and physical phenomena. Uh, after many years of teaching, I realized that most important are not the formulas, not the problems solving, not the use of uh, very sophisticated devices, but to make students to imagine, to see or to visualize using simple objects. And if it's possible, these objects to be uh, in the classroom. Thank you very much for your attention.